Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. It definitely helps the algorithm and comments help the algorithm. So my name's Lorenda and today we are going to make a preschool writing mat. So I am going to be using these this is a Dollar Tree cutting board and they come two in a pack for $1.25. And do you remember like when you were little in school and you learned to write, they had the paper with the dots and you traced your letters and stuff like that. So my little grandson, he's two and a half and he's starting to be interested in writing. And his mom has like this little game on the iPad for him where he traces his letters and he's so proud of himself. So I thought that I would make him a little mat. And I feel like this is going to work. I did like a little blurb on a small piece of like a small little cut off piece like this that I had just to, you know, see if the cut pressure that I was thinking would work and it seemed to. So I only have one full mat left though. So it is a one try, a one try project. And so anyways, I am, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to text. Now the font that I'm using, I got it from defont.com and I do, if you have an, if you do all your work on an iPad, like I mostly use an iPad, sometimes it's a little challenging to pull up the fonts from defont.com. I did do a video after I figured out an easy way to do it. So I'll link that video in the description. I actually had to go back to the video because it had been a while since I added um, fonts to remember how to do it. Okay. So anyways, and I'm sure that you can find this anywhere, but I, I saw this on Pinterest and the font it's, um, it's KG and it's KG. It's primary dots lined no space is the name of it. And then when you put them into your Cricut, just so you know, like when you go to fonts, if you hit Cricut, it's Cricut fonts. If you go to system, it's system fonts. And then all will give you like all fonts. So let me go back to it here. So this is going to be super easy. Now I'm going to start with his name because I wanted to learn to write his name. And then I'm going to return and I'm going to do. And so I'm going to do uppercase and lowercase. So I'm just going to shift and do each one. I want to make this, I want it to be about ten inches across. So now I'm going to go to make it. 
And what I want to do, I'm going to turn my mat around this way. And I want it to be about here, I think. Well, my mat hangs off just a little bit on. So as you can see, let me put this up here like this. I put this up, the mat hangs off about two inches. So I think if I put it down to right about here, I feel like it'll be somewhat in the center. Gonna hit maker. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go to all materials and I'm gonna go to paper. And I'm just doing copy paper. Now I have my mat loaded this way. See, I got the piece kind of hanging off the end there. Put it in. I'm going to let go. And then my C. And we're going to let it make. All right, so this is done. We're gonna pull it out off of our mat. And I know that this is sort of hard to see in the camera. I don't know why, but there's like a, I guess it's just the way the light shines off of it. But as you can see, it's all up in there. Now, you can leave it just like this, but this is a little bit harder to see. We're gonna go in the garage and just add some. All right, so now, listen, I started to do this. That's why it's a little dark and had to scrub it off because I wasn't filming. All right, so now I'm just gonna take some paint and just sort of get it down in the grooves. Wipe it off. All right, so there we go now. We got paint on it. And we'll go back in the craft room real quick and use that. All right, so here is our completed writing page. It just took a couple minutes for the ink, I mean the paint to dry. Now, it's weird because I've got this blue underneath my thing. But now, I was also thinking that if you wanted... You could always put a piece of like white vinyl underneath it, right? So I think that I'm gonna do that just to make it easier. Thank <laughs> you. 
So now I have this writing mat so he can practice writing his name. And his letters. And then we can wipe it off and he can do it over and over. So if you have someone learning to write their name, their alphabet, that sort of stuff, this is just a nice little way to make a reusable writing page that you can, you know, just dry erase and you can do it, wipe it off and keep practicing. So. I'm excited. I think this will be good for my little grandson, and I hope it was helpful for you. And I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day, friends, and I'll see you later. Bye.